Hello there my friends, thank you for tuning in to the video starting this session the other day with some bench press uh, starting just warming up with some wide grip and uh, this is my competition style bench press and uh, I just uh, figured I would try that uh, because it was a long time ago that I did it uh, but I was going to end up doing close grip as the majority of my work on this day and uh, so just warming up with uh, a few sets of 10 uh, on each uh, individual weight working up to whatever I was gonna do and uh, uh, what I had in mind was to do I was going to try to do a PR with 120 kilos uh, for close grip for reps uh, the best before that I've done is uh, is uh, two reps at 120 kilos and as you can see here this is 110 kilos and the reason why I like this also, this also shows the reasons why I like to use like big plates for 5 kilo plates and 2.5 kilos plates because otherwise from angles like this you can't really see them but there was a 5 kilo plate on each side that you didn't see and now there's a 10 kilo on each side that you also cannot see well you can see it towards the end I think because it wiggles a bit if you pay attention but however as I said 2 reps was my previous PR and uh, managed to do three repetitions which I was not satisfied with so I went for it again for another set and uh, uh, the really the short term goal that I had uh, just uh, like last week was to do five reps uh, like within like two or three months or so so I just happened to manage to bang out a uh, five reps uh, which I was pleased with actually uh, and uh, I'm just gonna keep working on those triceps because triceps is uh, very involved in any pressing movement really so I really would like to have very strong triceps and uh, there's not really much bench pressing in uh, strongman which is the future of what I wanna do uh, with my strength career so to speak and after that just the uh, I did the Lehman program which I didn't want to do before trying to trying to do some PR stuff with benching uh, but this is 140 kilos and um, doing those post box squats did a set of 10 uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do now with this Lehman programming um, it's starting to get uh, towards the low rep ranges as the weight's getting heavier and I'm not really sure how I like going to failure every single session now that I've done this for a few sessions really and uh, I, was go I, I wasn't uh, after that gonna do the deficit deadlifts because uh, my back had some some feelings after those box squats so I decided to just do some some speed work or whatever after that with 160 kilos instead so to finish off this deadlift peak I'm just I, I think I'm just gonna do it by myself uh, and not kill myself every workout as I have done uh, going to like super failure almost so I just think I'm gonna do this a liner fashion way uh, just starting on like 140 kilos doing some sets uh, for some reps and increasing up to uh, heavier weights decreasing volume over time and just something normal like that just to finish off strong and then just ended with some accessory work uh, really like as I said working my triceps now and uh, been doing lots of dips and dips are starting to feel really great. I did some, I did a set of 10 here, I believe, or it was 8 uh, with pause. Uh, I like to do pause on the dips sometimes. And then trying out this exercise. Um, uh, this, I don't, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's uh, like the glute ham race, except harder because you don't have this assisting stuff. Um, uh, uh, yeah, whatever you call it. But. Um, this is something that I would like to get good at uh, strengthen those hamstrings for future gains but th that's the workout thank you very much for watching if you liked the video please hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more and see you later